In my recent review of the Razer Huntsman V3 Pro 10 keyless, Phoenix Keeps commented that I should try Trunk Deer A75, a 10 keyless 75% layout magnetic keyboard with rapid trigger. And so I did. I have it right here and I have been using it for a couple of days now and I have to say the keyboard really surprised me. Today we're going to talk about the build quality of the keyboard, see if it really can deliver 0.1mm rapid trigger sensitivity and whether it's a good choice for around $130. I'm also going to stack it against Razer Huntsman and the Steel series apex pro let's start with a quick unboxing inside of the box you are going to find pretty much the essential stuff the keyboard in either black or white colorway a usb-c cable to connect the keyboard to your pc and a keycap puller with a set of spare keycaps for windows and mac users mine came with a mac keys as default just a side note really happy drunk gear decided to include a proper wire keycap puller which is much better to use and safer for your keys the keycaps have a very clean, simple legend, which in my opinion looks very good. The font is also see-through, so the RGB backlight is clearly visible. The version I have here is in white color white and ABS keycaps, and I got to say the coating on the keys feels really good. Much better and much more pleasant than what you get on the Huntsman or the Apex. It's smooth, but at the same time it's still quite grippy. Not sure whether it's the coating or the ABS feel, but I certainly prefer it that way. The keyboard is mostly made of plastic, but it's built very well. Yes, there is some flexing and slight creaking when you try and bend the keyboard, but honestly, who cares? It's not like you will and should do it anyway. Inside, there's two layers of foam and a metal switch plate. The keyboard has a knob which you can assign various functions to and an adjustable feet, but just one height you can set. The keyboard is rather light, weighing at 720. 25 grams. It does feel a bit cheap when you start poking it with your finger, but the typing experience in my opinion is again much better than on the more expensive Apex Enhancement, but I'll let you judge for yourself. For me this sounds great and it seems that indeed the switches are factory looped. Moving on to performance. Now this is where it becomes a bit tricky. On one hand I saw on Amazon page that the keyboard supports only 0.4mm and up to 6.3mm actuation levels, but the software allows you to set it anywhere from 0.2 up to 3.8. Seems like drunk you have been tweaking the firmware of the keyboard. Also you can set the rapid trigger sensitivity to 0.1mm, but when I tried to measure it the results were quite a bit off. The activation and deactivation happened after after 0.3 millimeters, which suggests that, at least on the key I checked, it wasn't aligned with the settings you can set in the firmware. Pretty weird and probably requires much more thorough and more precise testing. However, does this mean that the keyboard is bad? No, by no means. Setting the rapid trigger to 0.1mm is actually, in my opinion, a mistake, since you will get much more accidental inputs. The safe range is between 0.3 to 0.4 or above. And trust me, you won't notice whether the rapid trigger sensitivity is set to 0.1 or 0.3mm. On the screen right now, you can see just how much or how little 0.3mm is. There is no way you will notice difference between this and 0.1 during normal gaming sessions. So let's talk about the software. I'm really happy to say that there's no permanent software you need to have installed on your PC to have the keyboard running the predefined RGB or performance settings. It's all stored on the onboard memory. You can change the settings in two different ways, web browser and built-in shortcuts. The last one, however, allows you to only change the RGB settings, not the performance settings. Included with the keyboard is a short manual that helps you understand how to use the shortcuts. You can find the link in the web app down below in the description. When you open the website, you will need to let it connect to your keyboard. You need to press the connect your keyboard button and from the pop-up window, choose your device. The web app is a bit overwhelming at first with the amount of information it shows, but spending a few minutes with it clears things up. You have two tabs, one for RGB and one for actuation and rapid trigger. Weirdly, when I first tried to change the rapid trigger to on, it wouldn't let me, switching back to off after a while, but firmware update helped with that. In order to change the settings, you can either choose all keys or individual keys. Then you can apply the changes, like change actuation point or rapid trigger sensitivity, and then you hit the save to keyboard key. 
then your settings are updated on your keyboard and they're stored there. There isn't much difference in terms of performance between this keyboard and Huntsman or Apex. In fact, Drunk Deer is a bit better than Apex from SteelSeries as it allows you to adjust the rapid trigger sensitivity to help you reduce the number of accidental inputs from the keyboard. Plus, it can help you save some money. It's the cheapest of the three. Another thing I really like about it is the fact that there is no permanent software required to keep the settings. I guess it's time to wrap things up and let's start with the price. At $130, this keyboard is one of the cheapest if if not the cheapest rapid trigger option on the market right now. Dooting costs around $170 and doesn't have 10 keyless option. Razer and SteelSeries start at around $170 for their compact keyboards and at this price point taking into consideration the build quality and performance I'd say it's a solid choice. I've never felt during the couple of days I've used it in online games or Diablo 4 that I was missing some performance when compared to the Huntsman which has become my main right now. Sure you might not get through 0.1mm rapid trigger but honestly it doesn't matter and you're much better off with higher sensitivity anyway. If you're in the market for a new gaming keyboard with rapid trigger but don't want to spend close to $200, the Drunk Deer A75 is a very good choice. And that's it in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it.